Hey guys, this is Sam, and since my last iPhone 8 video, there has been a ton of news released. A new price tag, even higher than before, new color options have been rumored, and there's a lot to talk about, so let's go ahead and jump in. So one of the features that is rumored to be coming to the iPhone 8 this year is wireless charging. It's one of those features that Android has had for a really long time, but Apple has not implemented in any of their products really ever. Sure, there's been third-party accessories that enabled wireless charging on the iPhone, but for Apple users, We've never gotten to experience that. So this year, not only is the iPhone 8 rumored to get wireless charging, we've also heard this rumor about the iPhone 7S and iPhone 7S Plus models, which are gonna be the two other iPhones supposedly launching later in 2017. But wireless charging in general is something that I think iPhone users are pretty excited about. And a new rumor indicates that wireless charging might not actually ship with the iPhone 8 when it launches. Now this wouldn't be the first time that Apple's pulled something like that because with the iPhone 7 Plus, the portrait mode feature where you could create that really immersive and blurred background and a really clear subject in the foreground, that feature didn't ship with the iPhone 7 Plus on launch day. It came in a later software update, iOS 10.1, either a few weeks or a few months later. So it wouldn't be super surprising if Apple did the same thing with wireless charging in the iPhone 8. Because according to a new report by Fast Company, Times at Apple are tough. Now this is kind of concerning because the iPhone 8 is supposed to be coming out pretty soon. I mean, usually it's announced in September, that's still what we're hearing, and that's about two months away. So for the sense of panic to be happening, it's kind of worrying. In addition to wireless charging not working right away, the same thing could happen with the front-facing facial scanning technology that might be replacing Touch ID, and we'll get into that in just a moment. But a lot of these, based on this Fast Company report, are software problems rather than hardware issues. And I find that really interesting because usually you hear about problems with a phone, you're thinking hardware, the technology just isn't there. Well, Apple has the technology and they're working to implement it into the device, but it's the software that seems to be holding everyone back. It's just not ready for some reason. So while wireless charging and the 3D facial scanning technology could be delayed and added in a later software update like iOS 11.1, and maybe if they're still having issues, iOS 11.2, there is some good news. Now I find this incredible that this late in the game, Apple is still debating on what to do with Touch ID, but this report says that Apple is still trying to figure out how to embed Touch ID into the screen. And once again, this phone is two months away from launch. Usually these things, you would think would be finalized months if not years in advance on the product roadmap. But Apple's working really hard to implement Touch ID into the display. We know the technology is possible. Another company has already done it. The question is whether Apple will be able to make it happen as well. Now out of all the reports that we've seen and heard and the leaks and rumors that have come out in the past half year, the number one thing that has surprised me the most is how we really don't know that much about the rear camera system. Like we know it's gonna be dual cameras instead of horizontal and it's gonna be vertical this time around. And we know that it's probably gonna do 4K video and take good photos like most iPhones do. But we don't know that many specifics. Well finally we got some new information from Fast Company who published a report that says the iPhone 8 might feature 3D laser autofocusing. So that means autofocusing when you take photos or videos would be a lot faster with this new laser technology. As a video and photo person myself, that sounds incredible. But also this laser or new technology for the rear camera is said to help with augmented reality or AR features as well, reporting that it would be better at measurements or probably understanding the environment around the camera. However, the same report also claims that this might not be coming to the iPhone 8. But I think it's really likely because of the new iOS 11 AR or augmented reality features added then. It seems like a launch with iOS 11 that added AR and an iPhone 8 with enhanced AR capabilities would make so much sense. And the technology seems really cool. Now moving on, our favorite iPhone 8 leaker, Vinny Gaskin, shared some new information about finishes and colors coming to the iPhone 8. He claims that there will be four color options in total, which is a pretty good selection for the launch of the device. But one of these new color options or finishes is gonna be a mirror-like reflection one. And he shared an image of an iPhone 7 or an iPhone 6S with a case on it that reflected the environment around it. He says that that's gonna be roughly similar to the finish on the iPhone 8. And 9to5Mac actually brought up a really good comparison. I wanna pull up their article on screen right now. They compared it to the original iPod finishes. And because this is the 10th anniversary iPhone, I could totally see Apple doing some special finish, kind of to commemorate the iPhone's history and maybe tying in some iPod history as well. It's kind of an interesting idea, and I don't know if that's exactly what they're going for, but I think something like that is totally plausible. One thing that we've heard time and time again about the iPhone 8 is that it's going to be expensive. First we heard about $900, then we heard $1,000, and now a new report from JP Morgan says that this device could cost $1,100. That is their current 
estimate for what this device will cost when it's released. Now they also echo that the iPhone 8 will probably be released sometime in September, but they put an emphasis on the fact that quantities are gonna be very constrained, but they say roughly about the same as any new iPhone once it's released. But the $1,100 price tag is huge because it just keeps going up the more we hear about this device. And that's just crazy to me because we've never seen phones that expensive. Apple is supposed to be doing this with the iPhone 8. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. How much are you willing to pay for this device? Because I thought like my cap was gonna be a thousand. Maybe I'll stretch it up to 1100, but that's just a lot of money for one device. Imagine spending $1,100 on a new phone every year. It's absurd. Now I wanna talk about the iPhone 8's name for a second because I've been calling it the iPhone 8 in all of these update videos that I've been doing. A lot of other YouTubers have been calling it the iPhone 8, but nobody has really confirmed for sure that that's going to be the name of the device. This new JP Morgan report suggests that the device could be called the iPhone Pro. That's what they called it in their write-up. And that's really interesting. And I thought about it for a second, and when I looked more into it, it made a lot of sense. You have the MacBook, which is like the regular laptop for regular people, and then you have the MacBook Pro for people who want to step it up. You've got the iPad, and then the iPad Pro for people who are willing to pay more for a higher-end device. And if they do the same thing to the iPhone lineup, you could have the iPhone 7S, and for people who wanted to step it up, the iPhone Pro. So when I took a look at it, it would make a lot of sense if Apple used that name for this $1,100 device that would be for people that want to spend a ton of money on their phone, but at the same time, get the highest end specs, the best screen, the best camera, so on and so forth. I've also heard iPhone X or iPhone 10 or iPhone edition. Those seem very plausible as well, but I could totally see confusion where if Apple came out with iPhone 7S models and an iPhone 8, regular people that don't follow technology like we do would be confused as to why there's three different iPhone models instead of just one. So those are just my thoughts on that and let me know what you think about what it will actually be called down below in the comment section. Before we wrap up this video, there's one more thing that I wanna to touch on and it's completely unrelated to the iPhone 8 or the iPhone 7S, but it's about the possibility of a second generation iPhone SE. When that phone first launched in I think March of 2016, I was the biggest fan of it, I was so excited. It was cool to see a new iPhone model in the middle of the year rather than waiting a whole year every September for the new devices. And I feel like people love the iPhone SE, even though a lot of reviewers didn't get it at all. But number one, it was $400. It was a lot cheaper than the previously most low-end $650 iPhone model. And number two, it had a small screen for people that didn't want to use a 4.7 inch or 5.5 inch display. And to this day, one of my favorite Apple products ever. A recent report says that the iPhone SE was done, it was canceled, nobody's working on it, there will never be a second generation model. But a new report from iGeneration says that there will be a new iPhone SE model, iPhone SE 2 probably, and that might come out at a reported event in August. It's kind of one of those rumors that nobody else has confirmed, I haven't heard echoed anywhere else, but if that happened, I would be so excited because I'm still a huge fan of the iPhone SE, and if one is released at this reported event in August, you can be sure to see coverage here on my channel. That is gonna wrap up this video on the iPhone 8. Those are the latest leaks and rumors and reports. I probably said the word report like 30 times in this video. If anybody wants to count, please tweet me and I'd love to know how many times I said it. But if you guys enjoyed it, as always, hit that like button down below and it would really help me out. And if you wanna see more on the iPhone 8, especially videos when this device is finally released, hit subscribe down below and I'd really appreciate it. I've been Sam, I hope all of you are doing great and I'll talk to you later.